So I tried MobX for the first time in a project in the last video series that I did, and I wanted to share some of my thoughts and initial impression on it. So surprisingly, I actually really enjoyed using it in the project. First off, I have pulled up here the main store that we were using in the project called the Workout Store. And you'll notice it is a class and it integrated really nicely with TypeScript. So I basically just set the fields of what I wanted and then I just set the TypeScript class or TypeScript type on the class like I would with any other class. Um, and I was able to access those fields. It's just a regular class that you interact with. So TypeScript worked amazingly and everything was type safe. So I loved that part of it. And then actually being able to just use this in a project with hooks was very simple to do. So that was super nice. So example of that is we just say use context um, on, we just create a context for it. In this case, I was using a root store, but basically the idea is you just create a context uh, and you create a new class of your store. Uh, and then you can just say use context and off, you're, you're good to go. You can just access all the data on your store now. And then you just wrap your component wherever components are actually using these fields or these this data in an observer. Uh, and then you're ready to just start using MobX. You can start getting the values, changing the values, and everything is gonna change and be responsive with that. Uh, so like that whole experience was super nice. There wasn't a lot of boilerplate. It worked super nicely with TypeScript. Now, a few people were asking me, um, why why I went with MobX and why you would use MobX over say just using the context and using like use state instead. And I think the main thing that I noticed when using it um, that I really enjoyed was you just didn't need to think about optimizing things and you didn't really need to think too much about the state management at all when using MobX. I pretty much just created my class, um, added some observables to it and then I'm good to start using it and I can just wrap it and I love like adding these computed values and not having to think about like whether this is going to be called in the render function a bunch of times and be expensive. Obviously we didn't do any computations that were too expensive in the render. Like this is a very simple computed value, but it's nice to not even have to think about that. And the other thing is uh, we just wrap them in these observers like whenever we wanted a component to use a MobX store, we wrap in an observer, and we don't need to think about it. If a field changes and that component is using that field, it's going to re-render. If I'm not using some of these fields in the store and they change, I don't even think need to think about it. MobX handles it for me. My component's not going to get rendered if it doesn't use some of the fields, even if the fields are changing. So that whole part I really enjoyed. And that's one reason I would use MobX over say just use state in application where I just don't even need to think about all those things. MobX handles that for me. And that was something that was really nice about it. The other thing is I was starting to think how I might integrate this with some of my other projects that use, for example, GraphQL and how it might work together. Now I know some people kind of integrate or use another state management library for their GraphQL data, for example, fetching the data with Apollo and then storing it in Redux or storing it in MobX and then interacting it with it that way. I'm not entirely sold on that idea right now. I don't know if I want to just fetch data and store it in MobX. I think uh, currently the way I see using MobX is using GraphQL and Apollo to store my data that I'm fetching from API and then using what I'm currently using unstated for, which is just local data or uh, global data that's really just client data or client state management. So like things like if a modal is open, well maybe you know more complex things than that, but you get the idea. Um, but basically pairing it with Apollo and pairing it and complementing it. I'm basically taking the place of what I'm using unstated for right now, which is that if I have some global state that I wanna share across multiple components, I see probably just using MobX for the future because uh, I really enjoyed using it and feel like uh, it's a little bit more advanced than unstated. I could see maybe using unstated still for some simple stuff, but I liked how MobX was very simple to use, but I could see it extending to more complex use cases as well. The other thing is I'm pretty much a MobX noob and I was able to get things working pretty easy. Um, and I'm not really using too many of the uh, decorators or fields like I think the only things that I used was the computed field 
observables and I think in my timer store I was using some actions as well um, so those are the only things I was using in MobX so I've just kind of dipped my toe into MobX there's a lot more to it uh, to try out uh, so I'm excited to give that a try and I have yet to try out MobX state tree so that's something that I need to do also in the future I was just using vanilla MobX uh, and that was working great so I need to see what actually MobX state tree does and where that adds value uh, is one thing I plan on doing in the future but if any of you guys were like considering MobX or wanting to replace your current state management on the client side I would highly recommend MobX I had a great first impression on it first experience with it uh, and would recommend trying it or picking it up and I plan on doing the same